IPOP has no place to run to. The police and military will handle them, Buhari claims. President Mohamed Buhari has once again assured Nigerians that his government will mobilize the military to attack the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. The IPOP, which has been identified as a Boko group, has been somewhat of a menace in the country, especially in the southeast. When quizzed about how he intends to tackle the group president, Barry said that he would be mobilizing the army to go against them. Here is the exact words that he said. The IPOP are like a dot in a circle. They have nowhere to run to. They are spread everywhere and they own business and investment in every part of the country. They don't know what they are doing. How we will handle them is to mobilize the police and military to go against them. During the course of the interview, the president pinpointed that the IPOPs run business in every corner of the country and no one disturbs them. So they shouldn't disturb the peace of the country. <laughs> you see, President Mulberry, I don't know. I don't know who is actually helping him to, to construct all of his statements, but I'll tell you that his statements are very much compromising, but very funny. Yeah, very, very funny. All right. Um, you, he's claiming now that IPOP has no place to run to, that um, he has placed all the security... Uh, and also all the military everywhere to safeguard everywhere and um, and prevent IPOPs from um, from leaving. <laughs> Who are the militaries? Those Fulanis in military uniform, am I right? You don't. We don't have any military in Nigeria. There is no military in Nigeria. As far as concerned, what we have in Nigeria is just. Perfect, perfect um, weeklies. We have weeklies as, mili as military men. You claim that we have militaries and they cannot protect the life of the people. Is it the military that will hear a gunshot and the next thing you see is they will pick to their heels? Do you need to hear what the, the reverse women said? They said that now their, their life is at risk. Because what? Because the people they believed in that will protect them are now the one running to meet them for safety. And those are the people you are calling the military. You must you must say that again. We don't have military. So when talking about military, you talk about those capable military men. Those capable, not the ones in Nigeria. You talk about the American soldiers. You talk about the, uh, the, the, uh, the British Cameroon militants. Okay? So these are militaries and not the ones in Nigeria. The ones in Nigeria has been abused. They have been abused. Themselves have been abused. Their uniforms have been abused. They have been abused with corruption. Everything about them is corruption. Did you hear what uh, um, Femi Falano said? Femi Falano said that the name Nigerian police NPF should be changed to NPS, Nigeria, instead of Nigerian Police Force, it should be changed to Nigerian Police Service because what they are rendering is now a service and not a force. Yes, who are they, who are they securing? They are not securing anywhere. They are not securing the country. They are not securing the people. They are only securing themselves. They are securing themselves. So we don't have any... We don't, we don't have any security in this country. We don't have security in this country. We are not safe anymore. A situation whereby the police are the ones running away, running, running to the to the civilians for safety. What are you saying now? What are you saying? We don't have. Let's tell ourselves the truth. We don't have security. What we have are weaklings. We, are, we, we are weaklings. That's what we have in Nigeria. Our Nigerian police are nowhere to be found anymore. They're nowhere to be found. They're just running up and down, looking for people to hide their faces. 
looking for who to, who, to, who, to, who to help them. And you say we have military. You say that they don't have anywhere to hide. Right? Okay, go after them. Let's see. Go after them. Since you deployed soldiers in, in Imo, in Anambra, in Enugu, how many of the IPOPs or how many of the of the of the uh, Eastern Security Network have your military been able to get hold of? They have not been able to get hold of any. All the ones that they have been uh, um, holding, or that, that they have been claiming to hold, are all fake ones. Those ones they stage for fake interviews. When they stage them on fake interviews, they force them to say what, what is not, what, what, what never happened. That is what hap that's what is happening. So what are we saying? So what are we talking about? So who are we deceiving? Who are we lying to? You can't stop. We, 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 the earlier we stop this, that is happening, the better for us. The better because we are not helping matters. We are not helping matters. So you are saying that I pop has no place to run to. Why? Where? <laughs> you see, I've said it before that, um, Barry, I don't know. I know that you are not the one um, putting up this right up, but I know that uh, someone is doing that for you by um, by following your instructions. But I tell you that um, uh, no matter what you say, okay, no matter what you say, I tell you that you are very much joking. You are joking. You understand? You are very much joking because you on your own know who the IPOPs are and what they are capable of. You know what they are capable of. You know what they can do. You know where they have gone and how far they have gone. So you challenging their statement and their action is just like you saying that this is what they can this is what they can do. You understand? So that is my whole candid advice. My whole candid advice to you is to just maintain a very low profile, okay? Respect yourself and grant these beer friends their freedom. You are claiming now that they are everywhere as businessmen. Yes, you are right. Oh, so you know that, that the beer friends are the businessmen scattered everywhere. And you are claiming, and you are claiming that the beer friends are nobody. You see that? <laughs> uh, Barry will not seem to amaze me and that is why everyone is saying that this June 12th will never hold because he has never been straight in all his doings. Barry has never been straight in all his doings. So people cannot even believe him anymore. You understand? Nobody will believe him anymore because he has never been straight. He has never been straight. So how do you expect people to do things with someone that is not straight? How? Let me hear from you, my dear viewers, from the outside, to know what you could have to say about this. Okay, because this is becoming unheard of. Please don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button.